In this video, I'm gonna put Gig Performer 3 and MainStage head to head to see which of these two softwares is the right one for your live keyboard setup. Brett Pontecorvo here at LiveKeyboardist.com where I help keyboard players just like you with the ins and outs of Ableton with building a stable live keyboard setup and with mastering sound design. If you're new here, please consider hitting that like and subscribe button. All right, so Gig Performer and MainStage are both live performance softwares, and today we're gonna to talk about the details of each, what comes included when you purchase these softwares, the reason why they were made, and then which one might be right for you. Um, so we're gonna start at the heart of it, which in my opinion is the sales page. So we're gonna start with Gig Performer's sales page. All right, so when you come to their sales page, you see we've got Gig Performer own the stage, we've got some pictures, uh, they do have a free trial for 14 days, which I think is pretty good. Welcome to Gig Performer. Guitarists, keyboard players, vocalists, drummers, wind players, build and control your live music rig with Gig Performer to transform and elevate your live performing experience by gaining complete control over the sound of your instrument or voice. Our innovative approach focus on usability is paired with an intuitive rack design called a rack space, which transforms your plugins into the most powerful yet user-friendly live music software system. Our impressive list of cutting edge features allow you to control multiple instruments, multiple instruments, layer sounds, and employ authentic effects easily and with little power usage. Um, so pretty simple goal here, right? They're not trying to talk it up. They're just kind of like, hey, this is what we do, which I've got a lot of respect for here, right? They've got a pretty cool video. I'll let you watch that on your own time. But here are some of the features that I think are unique about it. Predictive loading just makes it a little bit lighter. So if you've been using MainStage, uh, or honestly even some other softwares, you'll know that it can be pretty CPU heavy, and this helps to kind of reduce the load. Um, bi-directional MIDI control and SysX support. Control service support has been strengthened with the addition of bi-directional MIDI control on widgets of Gig Performer rack panels. So pretty cool thing happening right there. Uh, another major selling point here is that we've got VST, VST3, and AU on both Mac and Windows. So no matter which computer you are using, this is an option for you. You can record your live performances, which is a nice feature, and uh, MIDI and OSC support, which is super powerful. Um, and it allows you to do some cool things. You can even send uh, names of plugins uh, to OSC enabled apps like Lemur. Won't get too much into that, but it's cool. Um, Rig Manager is amazing. Um, and it's got Ableton Link. So if you're running backing tracks, you can easily sync uh, Gig Performer to uh, Ableton if you're running them there. So this is our sales page um, and the price coming in at $149 uh, for Mac or Windows and if you pay $200 you get both and you can uh, use them interchangeably which is very nice. Um, gig Performer license will never expire, also nice. All right, let's check out MainStage's sales page. Okay, so Already, we've got a super different vibe, right? All of this is looking uh, pretty salesy. We've got this concert that you may or may not be playing at, and the price right up top. Turn your Mac into a live rig, transform keyboard, guitar, vocal performance with an enormous collection of plugins and sounds. Um, now, this is true. It does come with an enormous collection of plugins and sounds, um, but, you know, it's at a cost. The right kind of gig, uh, right kind of rig for every kind of performer. Is it really, though? Do we really know that it's the right kind of rig for every performer? I don't know. Um, keyboardist, your dream uh, gig awaits. Um, it allows you to do mapping. Uh, it's a host for software instruments. But I think the real difference here, well, two of them in my opinion, is that Gig Performer comes with no plugins, at a good reason, which we'll discuss in the next section. Um, and MainStage comes with a lot of built-in instruments. And I think... Partially, that's because it's meant to make it really easy to go from Logic to MainStage. The one caveat being, it doesn't handle CPU very well. So, something to think about. Um, in terms of the look and the feel, um, some similar things, all right? We've still got widgets, we've still got um, knobs that are mappable, total performance package. They're working. They're working to sell this. Can't blame them, right? This is a sales page, but... Uh, you kind of already get a sense that these are very different approaches to the software. Um, Gig Performer kind of sells itself because it works really well. Um, okay, so those are our uh, sales pages, and it's maybe worth considering MainStage if you are moving from Logic, but a strong word of caution, 
Uh, I personally would never consider using main stage because I've been down that road and I found it to not be reliable. However, that's sort of the intention. If you're working in Logic, easy to switch over to main stage. Gig Performer, on the other hand, has no built-in sounds. However, it is extremely stable. It's got that predictive loading feature. Um, and if you've got a few good plugins, you really get a lot more, in my opinion, for your money with Gig Performer. Now, in order to choose which software is right for you, we have to really think about who these softwares were built for, okay? Main stage was built by Apple, and it was built to perform live with Logic Sounds. Gig Performer was built by two really wonderful uh, gentlemen, uh, David and Neboisha, who are both touring musicians who know exactly what musicians need and built a program to work specifically for that. So if you on your journey right now are a professional and you've been playing for a long time, perhaps you have a decent amount of uh, third-party plugins, this might be an option for you to explore, especially since the creators of this program are like-minded individuals. Um, if you're somebody who is really at the beginning and you're not really sure, then maybe you can consider main stage. But again, stability is paramount here. So let's move on to ease of use. So in Gig Performer, things are really designed to just kind of do what you would expect them to do. Um, so you've got a front panel here, which looks very similar to main stage, but when you flip it over, you can see it is actually quite different. So we've just got sort of these little modules here that you connect together with wires. The pro of this is that whatever you want to happen, you just wire in. There's no routing, there's no channel strips, it makes it uh, really easy to, to use. Um, so when you're building a new rack space, you're sort of presented with something super simple, and I can load in whatever I want. So one of my favorite synths is pigments, and I'll insert pigments here. And then I can do with it what I want. So if I want it to receive MIDI from everything, I can do that. Or I can insert uh, MIDI input that comes directly from my key lab or from OSC, uh, whatever I want. If I want to run it through an effects, I can insert whatever effect that I might want. Let's grab um, Serum's effects. Right, and I don't have anything here right now, but I can easily just wire it in, right? If that's where I want it to go, that's where it goes. I could wire it to the output. I could also simultaneously, if I wanted to, wire it to another effects unit. Why not? So it makes it really easy to do whatever type of processing you desire to do. They keep things pretty simple. Uh, this is intuitive and it just works the way that you think it would work. Um, when you flip it over, you can design whatever type of rack space you want. Um, lots of different widgets here. Everything is really easy to map. Um, and also there's a rig manager video, which I won't go into details here, but it makes it really easy to use multiple setups uh, to control your things, which is not really possible in main stage. So this, this ease of use for Gig Performer absolutely takes the cake. Now, when we look at main stage, we've got a very different vibe. You're presented with this quick start window and just for demonstration, I'm gonna open up this synthesizers, right? So it's loading this concert and it's loading and <laughs> here it is. So we do have all of these sounds, right? But now if you ever needed to move maybe to Ableton or to Gig Performer and this is your primary uh, you know, workspace for performing live, you have to redo literally everything. It's not at all mobile uh, because it's all um, built in. Now, uh, there was a time where I used main stage as my primary live performance software. Um, and then there were multiple times where it crashed. And I know people are like, oh, it's probably because you didn't set it up right or whatever. Friends, it crashed. Uh, definitely not user error here. Um, and so even though it comes with all of this stuff, it's just not as stable, right? We've got a traditional channel strip set up over here. Um, if you want to do sends and returns, you've got your sends and returns like you would expect. Similar mapping, right? Similar mapping. Um, we can drop in things over here. Um, but I don't know if you can hear this. I opened this up. The fan on my computer immediately kicked on, just as, as an indicator here. Uh, to just sort of the uh, the level of processing power this takes up. So let's go through a pros and cons list before we make a final decision about who these softwares are for. So for main stage, there are some pros, right? It's a $30 piece of software, which is pretty inexpensive and it comes 
with a lot of built-in sounds. And if you're moving from Logic, it's sounds that you will be familiar with. And I would say that that is a pro. Uh, it's also widely used, so there is a lot of pre-made sounds that exist for main stage floating around on the internet. It's pretty user-friendly, um, and you know it, it's nice to look at. So I would say those are some pros. But the cons list here is that main stage is just not super stable on its own, let alone when you're running main stage and perhaps another program to run backing tracks. Um, so stability is a major problem for main stage, in my opinion. And uh, so that's like a major con. And for me, that totally crosses it off the list. Uh, there's not enough benefit to having a library of sounds that only work with main stage uh, to consider using it. Gig Performer. Uh, some pros to Gig Performer. It's extremely lightweight. Uh, there's a rig manager, which makes your home setup and your stage setup very easy to switch between. Uh, it's got that predictive loading, so it kind of knows what's coming next. Um, there's a way that you can run more than one instance at a time, so you can have certain patches that are always existing, and then individual patches for your songs. Um, it also only hosts third-party plugins, which means if you're coming from Pro Tools, if you're coming from Cubase, if you're coming from Logic, if you're coming wherever you're coming from, you have a home performing with Gig Performer, right? So this is this is a really awesome opportunity for no matter where you're coming from to have a live performance software that works. It is 100% OSC compatible, which makes it really easy to talk to other devices, and uh, it's just stable. It's a really good option, um, easy to MIDI map, long list of pros here. I'm filling up the screen. Some cons of Gig Performer. It comes with new built-in sounds, but that does mean there's an opportunity here. If you're coming from any other software, any other DAW, you can find a home in Gig Performer because you're not locked into software-specific uh, instruments. You're not locked into the ESX24. You're not locked in... Uh, to main stage instruments, you're not locked into anything. You're using your third-party plugins, and they're light. They move. They move very easily. And Gig Performer does a fantastic job of hosting it. So is it a con that it has no built-in software? I'll leave it up to you. For me, I would say it's not. It's perhaps an opportunity. Uh, the other con is maybe its price point, because it does come in at $150. However, um, that's an investment into never having to worry about your program crashing while you're performing. Additionally, for just $50 more, you have Gig Performer for both operating systems, which is a pretty great thing. You can move between operating systems. So which piece of software is right for you? My personal recommendation is that you go with Gig Performer, and that, for no other reason, is it will never crash on you. It will never crash on you. However, if you're somebody who's not super worried about stability, and perhaps you're playing at home, and you just want to get into it, then maybe... Maybe you go with main stage because you're not that worried about stability and you want a lot of built-in sounds. Uh, if you want to know more about Gig Performer, then I want you to check out the video on the screen right now where I really uh, break it down. And if you're somebody who is an Ableton lover like I am, I've got another video on the screen about how I perform live with Ableton. If you got value out of this video, please consider hitting that like and subscribe button. And I will see you next time on LiveKeyboardist.com.